Is Sigma's new 500 millimeter ultra telephoto prime lens a solid choice for sports photography? Matt with B&H here, and in this video, we're out to answer that question. And I've got it paired with the new Sony A93 because let's be honest, this thing is a sports photography beast with 120 frames per second, and we're better to photograph sports than this baseball haven, Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. Sigma recently announced the 500mm f5.6 DG DN OS sports lens. And let me just say, this is a seriously impressive lens. Excellent image quality in a compact and lightweight body, comparable in size to the recent 70 to 200mm that Sigma announced. The Sigma 500mm f5.6 has Sigma's HLA high response linear actuator focusing system for high speed autofocus. 20 elements, including three FLD and two SLD elements arranged in 14 groups, refractive lenses to prevent flaring and ghosting, and 11 rounded aperture blades. This lens has Sigma's latest OS2 stabilization algorithm with five stops of stabilization at 500 millimeters. That mixed with its lightweight at around three pounds, and you've got a perfect combo for handheld photography. In fact, most of the time that we've been shooting here in the DR, I've been using this lens handheld for both photo and video, and it outperformed in those areas. And it's around 80 degrees here, so if I had to lug around a heavier lens around this field, I would be a not so happy map. But one of the benefits of having an f5.6 lens that matched with Sigma's composite material that they used to build this lens means that we've got a lightweight, compact lens, which equals a very happy photographer. This lens is dust and splash resistant and has a front element that repels both water and oil. And while we didn't get to photograph through any rainy conditions while out here in the Dominican Republic, there's certainly no shortage of dust and dirt on the baseball field. So it's comforting to know that this lens can withstand all of that. And it's available in Sony E-mount and Leica L-mount. But that's enough of me talking. Let's see some of the shots I got with this lens here in the DR. Sorry, <laughs> let me throw that. Uh, I can't do it left hand. What can I say? I'm a baseball player. I'm a man of many trades. <laughs> I'm still not used to the 120 frames per second on the A93. Having the 500 millimeter prime with the A93, let me tell you, this is a power couple, if you will, this lens and camera combo with 120 frames per second. And especially for sports photography to be able to freeze the action, one, and two, the global shutter also helps with removing any distortion artifacts when you're panning really fast. In sports photography, you are panning really fast or tilting really fast. So having the global shutter to freeze that action without the distortion and artifacts is so important. One quick tip for sports photography, wildlife photography, and just using telephoto lenses and ultra telephoto lenses in general is you always wanna have your shutter speed do double your focal length. And the reason being is it helps to remove any motion blur. For sports photography and especially baseball, everyone is moving really, really fast. So you probably wanna go even higher than that. And you might be thinking, how are you gonna compensate with the light? which I really have no problem shooting in bright conditions like that at 5.6 on the Sigma 500, but I also don't mind boosting the ISO on these cameras because they're just so capable and noise, noise isn't really an issue anymore. So back button autofocus is all the craze when it comes to wildlife and sports photography, but having these custom buttons, you can program these to so many different things on these Sony cameras and it's default set to focus hold. So you don't really need back button autofocus because of that, because I could just hold and recompose without having to shift focus and turn on that autofocus continuous. So that's why it's just like a different way of doing back button autofocus and it's perfect for sports photography because I could recompose without refocusing. So for example, I could get my focus, hit the hold button, recompose, and always come back to that same spot and have that focus 
on the same field. We had a great time using the Sigma 500mm f5.6 DG DN OS sports lens here in the DR. It outperformed in so many areas. At f5.6, I've got some incredible separation between the players and their background. And honestly, shooting in so many sporting scenarios where it's bright and daylight or even lit by stadium lights, 5.6 is all one needs. And it was also exciting to pair this lens with the Sony A93. And these two together definitely answered the question we were after from the start of this video. And this lens is perfect for sports photography. Now I've got to get back out there on the field, but let me know in the comments below what you plan to photograph with the Sigma 500mm. I'm very curious. Matt with Bain H, and I'll see you guys next time.